a beautiful day. Don't got no destination. Guys, don't you love my singing voice? This isn't my car, first of all, if you're confused. Hello. You could probably tell. Ooh, this one's a little sketchy. The camera might fall. I'm going in the drive-thru. How exciting. I'm gonna get coffee. I'm just faking my hyperness right now, but once I get the coffee, I'll actually feel like this. Hi. Hi. Can I get a medium iced coffee with yeah. oat milk and vanilla? And then can I do the, do you have the Beyond Meat sausage? Yeah, the Beyond Sausage Sandwich. Yes, please. And then just hash browns. Okay, anything else for you? That's it. Welcome to Vlogmas day seven. We're at Dunkin' Donuts, let's go. See, this is why I love how my car has light seats because I just feel like this looks so weird like it just looks very dark and like my head's dark it's what we have to deal with today I got Dunkin Donuts today people because you know I just wanted to switch it up usually I'm a Starbucks gal you know I saw that there was a Dunkin nearby and I said oh, let's go there it's a beautiful day no plans that's for sure this is the like first day of vlogmas where I really have no direction I really have no plan for what I'm filming this is where we're at, we're at Dunkin Donuts. Usually I have every day planned. I'm like, okay, this is gonna be the title this day and this is what we're gonna do. But today's weird, I don't really know anything. Ooh, this is really good, wait, what? Okay, hold up, Dunkin Donuts coffee review. I'm never going to Starbucks again. Holy shit. I got the iced coffee. Usually I do a latte or cold brew, maybe that's why. I never do the iced coffee. Iced coffee, oat milk, cause Dunkin has oat milk now. And the French vanilla swirl. Mm. And then for food, oh, their hash browns are so good. Why is this turning into a mukbang? Oh. Mm, 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 mm. I'm gaining my energy back. I was pretty tired. And then I got the Beyond Meat burger. No, not the burger. Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich, which I don't really remember loving, but I don't really want like real meat. Oh gosh, she's thick. Why is she so thick today? That ain't normal. Is that normal? I feel like she's real thick today. I'm scared. Okay, taste test. I don't really remember. Oh, don't love. I think I like the Starbucks version better. Not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah, so this is not my car. Hi, hello. Okay, so my boyfriend's actually getting procedure, not a friend. I told you guys yesterday's vlog. I'm taking care of him. So this is his car, and yeah, anyway, anywho, <laughs> moving on. He's doing that right now, and I'm gonna pick him up. So that's why I really don't have a direction for this vlog. Obviously, I'm not showing any of that or talking about any of that. I'm thinking maybe get some things to bake, a little baking vlog. That sounds pretty good. Maybe like some banana bread. He has some rotten bananas I could definitely use. I might stop at the grocery store, maybe do a little grocery shop with me, even though I only really need sugar. I don't know. Like supplies for banana bread, I don't know. So maybe go to the grocery store. Who knows where the day will take us. Kinda wanna curl my hair. I washed my hair last night for the first time in like five days. I went pretty long, you guys. I don't even know how long it was. You guys probably could count with all the vlogmases we have. Maybe I'll curl my hair. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this and then decide what I'm doing with my life. So let's go, vlogmas day seven. Is this how the new targets are looking? Because they're pretty cute. I like this new design. She's modern. Need some of these. Need some of these. Some of this. Need some of these. 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 I feel like the Target that I'm in right now is the smallest Target ever. It's so weird, it's tiny. I don't know why. It's not like one of those like college Targets, like they have some of those. I guess this is a normal Target, but it's cute. Like you guys saw the outside, I don't know. We have an update. It is a little later. A lot later. <laughs> it's four. I'm with a little munchkin. He loves putting his chin on the car. Armrest, it's so cute. Whoa, it's bright. I'm currently at Bed Bath & Beyond. I realized that he does not have a cake pan slash loaf pan or whatever it is that I need. And I forgot to get it at Target. So I drove up the street to Bed Bath & Beyond. So I'm gonna run in there real quick and get it so I can bake the goods. Let's go. Got the good banana bread time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You're so cute. Let's go home. Can we just talk about how freaking beautiful that is? It looks heavenly. This view is so good driving home right now.
Just thought I'd show you guys. I ordered dinner from this place called Vibe Organic Kitchen. It's like all vegan, healthy. So I got this like kids burrito bowl and a quesadilla. Cooking in the kitchen for you. <laughs> Oh, what's that? What's that? Is that banana? Oh, he wants the banana. Hi guys, we are in the kitchen cooking for you. Cooking for you. I have copyright music on my phone because it was too quiet and I need Christmas music to listen to. Let's find a good song. Merry Litmus? That sounds pretty lit. <laughs> I'm gonna make banana bread. Long story short, like a week ago, we went to the Montage in Laguna Beach for brunch. They give you the best banana bread you will ever have in your life. If you ever go, you have to have it. I really wanna recreate it. I found a recipe online that I think is similar. Mary Litmus is too lit. I think I found a good recipe. It's apparently the same one. We're gonna try it out. So yeah, bake with me. We're gonna do this together. It's a little cooking show. Hello, I feel like Miss Remy Ashton up in here. Hope I have everything. Let's see the ingredients. Let's bring her up. One stick of butter, room temperature, four ripe bananas. I would like them to be a little riper than this, but you know, this is okay. Two cups all-purpose flour, two cups of brown sugar, two teaspoons baking soda, two teaspoons baking powder, salt, two large eggs, two cups of buttermilk. I don't usually use this for banana bread, so I'm very intrigued. Like, I feel like this will make it really moist and good. So maybe that's the secret ingredient that I never knew. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Preheat oven to 350. We're gonna grease the pan. I'm gonna use butter. Greased the pan. You're gonna start with mashing up the bananas. We're gonna mash them all together. I really hope these bananas are ripe enough. If your bananas aren't fully ripe, you just mash them more and that helps. Fun fact. Ooh, she brown. We love to see the brown. Farm work, yeah. She's looking pretty good so far, but she needs more. I think we're kind of getting there. I don't cook, I don't clean. Let me tell you how good this means. Good enough. Basically, we're gonna combine all of the dry ingredients, the flour, brown sugar, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. One cup, two cup, two cups brown sugar. There we go. We're winging it for sure. Two teaspoons baking powder, teaspoon of salt. Combine the butter into the banana mixture. It was one stick. What? Growling. <laughs> he really wants it. That's what I'm doing. That's it. Okay. Oh my god, this would be so much easier with a mixer. I'm gonna double fist it. One egg, two egg. Woo! We didn't even get any eggshell in there. Mix her up. Two cups of buttermilk. Ooh, she thick. Mix her up. If this sucks, don't judge me. We don't have the proper tools, okay? That's half the battle. You gotta have the right tool to make a masterpiece. We found an actual bowl. I combined all the ingredients. This is what it looks like when it's all together. I don't think it's all gonna fit in this pan. I think we're gonna have two banana breads. I didn't even realize how much this made. I hope it turns out. I feel like this is meant for a cake pan. We'll see if this turns out. I don't know. This might be a shit show. It's the thought that counts. <laughs> I don't know how much it's gonna raise. Honestly, we're just gonna put it all in. <laughs> I don't have time to make two. Honestly, that's really full for a banana bread. I might, I don't know, I feel like it might overflow. I don't even use it all, but there's not enough for two. I don't have time for that though, so I'm just gonna put this in and hope for the best. Let's say a prayer. Watch I drop it. Oh my God. Cooking in the kitchen for you. Isn't my singing so good? Holy shit, y'all. That's so gonna overflow. We might need 40 minutes, but we'll start with 30. I'm using this recipe, kathythomascooks.com. Brunch at the Loft, like this is the restaurant that I was talking about. This is the banana bread. And as you can see, it looks like they used a cake pan, but I'm just gonna use a loaf pan and hope for the best. I don't know if it's gonna work. I will update you guys when it's done. <laughs> Not the banana bread overflowing. <laughs> it smells really good though. All right guys. I pulled her out. She's not the cutest banana bread I've ever made. I feel like it's gonna taste really good. That's the finished product. I feel like I'm just gonna cut it up so that people don't realize that it doesn't look the best. Cause once it's cut up, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna look cute. I'll like cut it up into squares maybe. I don't know, I don't know. I gotta let it cool because it hardens once it cools and everything. Taste test. No, 
It's the texture for me. I ended up cutting it all up so it looks a little better. Still like a very weird texture. I mean, it tastes fine. Like the taste is pretty good. It's just the texture for me. It's kind of a fail. Oh well. <laughs> anyway, I'm probably gonna eat some of this because it's actually pretty good. That's gonna be it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 8. Bye guys. Oh,